Well, hello and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We are heading to court. We're heading to the courtroom. We're going to hear some witness testimony to see how guilty this Will Powers is. So let's dive right into this. October 18, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Rabble, 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 rabble. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that the, at 2.30pm on October 15, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Hello there. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio seat. This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios were here at 1pm on that day. Past the security station there is a gate seat. Past our other studios. And here it is, Studio 1. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15, there was only three people here. The victim, Jack Emma, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Emma, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1pm, the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5pm, the production staff came to the Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of her death was 2.30pm. The samurai spear was was the samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Uh, should I listen to the whole thing again? Nah. Sure, I'll be fine. I think I could probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. That must be added to the record. Very good. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Yes, great. Hmm. There she is, in her glory. Will the witness declare her name? Dot dot dot. Hmm? My aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> That's right. Your name, please. Oh dear, no need to you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. <laughs> Seems that Ralph has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to serve in there. Wendy, old bag dearie. They just called me Grandma. So even when I was young, still how the other children would make fun. Believe it, but there was this boy. He called me an old bag. Objection! Objection! I object. I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, here I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. That's for sure. <laughs> Let's go. 
On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since this morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he, and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then, hmm? Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Let's see. I know the part to stop this up, because there's no way she saw him. I have a picture! On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since this morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there. He was heading toward the studio. There's no way that's true. Because I have picture evidence. Objection! Take that. <laughs> Hands on the table. Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Yes! That's not Will Powers. I mean, it's not Will Powers, but also you can't see it's Will Powers. It's just a, someone in a costume. What is this exactly? I just said it's someone in a costume. <laughs> None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Oldberg. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't. Dot dot dot! Uh, well, I mean, I wonder, hmm? True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. Hands on the table. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble, trouble calling her old bag, apparently. <laughs> However, you do not have the proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm. No, see, old man. Of course I have proof. What? <laughs> huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old, the witness. Please make known all information in your possession ahead of time. How was I, how was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyways, I showed the photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Ah, oh, shot dead word. Wow, old windbag is. <laughs> Even Edgeworth's speech. He's good. Let's hear about your proof then. Dot dot dot. The man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run through at the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. That's how I know it was Powers. Happy? Hmm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. And that's what we will do. We'll press her until she squeals. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. Press. Hold it! Trip and fall? 
Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh! A power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You... you helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Uh, let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant, then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Hold it. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there to, with my duct tape to fix it. How oh, lucky. <laughs> this strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down in the court record. Samurai spear updates to the court record. Very good. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Hold it. Was Mr. Powell's ankle badly sprained? Yes, she literally just said that, Phoenix. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. Hand on the tail. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that, that bothers me. Which is... Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Hmm... Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm... Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. What? <laughs> yeah, it's clearly not nice. It's, it's, yeah. It's flawless evidence. <laughs> Are you sure, Your Honor? Objection. Hands on the table. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. Obviously! God, you're the worst! <laughs> I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. <laughs> your Honor, you stupid idiot! Then allow me to remove the doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice! Continued. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. True. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Interesting. Interesting. Nonsense. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Interesting. You're just full of lies, aren't you, old bag? The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30pm, true. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they have, I would have seen them. Yeah, but the thing is, there's a number on this photo. It's not- look, it's photo number two, which means there was two pictures taken. Take that. OBJECTION! Hands on the table. Hold on a minute. Everything I just said. <laughs> look at this photograph one more time. <laughs> this photo was taken by the camera at the, at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right, um, anyway. <laughs> it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo, I printed the words, October 15, 2pm, photo number 2. Even I know that it means it was taken at 2pm on October the 15th. 
Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, Photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Hands on the table. Shouldn't this be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Rabble, 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 rabble. Order. Order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask to witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Hands on the table. Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Eh? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Word of Powers. Hands on the table. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Oh, uh, well, yes. That would, uh, that would seem to mean... Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, um, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! <laughs> Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hmm, some help you are. You're a weapon snapper too. <gasps> weapon snapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag. Ah, that's right! I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Rubble, 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 rubble. Sigh. I see. Your testimony, please. The other person. All right, here we go. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. <coughs> Miss Oldberg, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I too, this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> also, hi, Phoenix, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. The other person. <clears throat> Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. What is that job? Explain to me. Another job? That's right! <laughs> I check all the people that pass by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Hold it! That's worthy. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you were raised? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steal a samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. He gets information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging around. One was there that day. Objection! Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a train that goes into the employee area. The, the grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? I mean, she was going to say something. You just needlessly interrupted. They're kids! Children! Whippersnappers! Kids! Ugh. It's on the phone that you were raised. It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Ugh. What? Rubble, 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 rubble. 
Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai, dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, well we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade, hmm? I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the steel samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Uh, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. <laughs> the court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. <laughs> cool. Okie dokie, right. Well, I am going to stop it there um, before we head into the lobby and see what's happening here. Uh, and we'll pick up on this next time. Um, yeah, I mean, it went about as well as I expected for uh, for the old bag. Um, yeah, <laughs> and we'll uh, yeah we'll pick up on this newfound discovery. Who is uh, who is this child? You know, do they have something that could help us in this case? We will potentially find out next time. And until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.